father and the protector of my home under God. I have decided to come out and speak publicly against this harassment, bullying, and maliciousness we have received as law abiding citizens of Nigeria. Because of my wife, I decided to speak her truth and I decided to trust her and I believe her and stand by her. I will never leave her side and I will do my best to protect her. I will, I will ever. The good people of Nigeria who have shown us so much love deserve to know what is happening. On behalf of my family, I would like to share a few highlights, especially about the attempt yesterday to abduct my wife, or probably me if I was downstairs. Because the people that came to our house, they're not, nobody comes to drop letter with guns. Nobody comes to drop letter with the tinted glasses, men with guns, trailing the car. It's not, you not just come to drop letter. If my wife has insisted that this, first of all, someone said, um, when they came into the compound, followed my wife into the compound, someone said, uh, my ogre wants to see you in the bus. She said, no, I don't know your ogre, who are you? And they now said they wanted to give us a letter, that letter was, um, because I've seen the bus, my, from my, where I live, from my upstairs, I can actually see the bus. The bus has been parked in my, for, on my road for a long time, but I've not, it will not cross my mind. It will not cross my mind, like, ah, okay, these people are, so the, for the reason that as she, as she came out from the road and entered the road, Enter, tried to enter my gate, the boss followed her and blocked my gate. It's a sign that these people have been, they've been trailing and following her. So it's not that police came to just drop letter and go away. If she had not insisted that, ah, no, I don't know you, I cannot follow you. And then I, we have not said, okay, Oga, what do you want? An attempt was made to adopt my wife because it's not possible that you send a, a tactical team to come, and, to come and drop a letter. It's not possible that you send a tactical team that they normally use to whisk people out of a place to come and drop a letter. It's almost, it's just like I'm sending, I'm sending, I'm sending, how would I put it? It's just like I'm, I'm, I'm telling five people, to, five people to come and pick my son from school. Five armed men just come and pick my son from school. Like, he's been a stubborn boy. Let's just come and pick him up. When I saw them, I was afraid. The first thing I did was to call, it was to call my lawyer. I said, ah, there are strange people in my heart. There are strange people, I'm, I'm, these people, I don't, they're, they're, nobody say, ah, why is this one carrying gun? Why is this following? Why are they blocking my gate? I was afraid for my life. I was afraid. First thing I told my children is to off the television and go to, just go to your room and lock the door. The letter made no reference to any case, no matter. It states that we are being investigated for a case of falsehood and mischief. Two offenses that are not known like, offense, like a crime in Nigeria. In the police press release yesterday, they claim they claim a police investigation letter, a polite investigative tool used in eliciting information related from parties in, aid, in, in, in aiding the police investigation. If they were just delivering a letter, the manner in which they intentionally tried to instill fear, intimidate us with guns and insist on us coming to their boss was neither polite nor trustworthy. The letter as is, just to say, it's nothing we can work with. So we'll just go on and we'll receive the letter. So the lawyers will respond to them, acknowledging receipt of it and asking for further clarification, and we'll take it from that. We cannot keep quiet any longer. Rape is a serious crime. And I'm here not because of celebrities. You see comments, oh, celebrities come together. Just is here, I've worked for people that I don't even know when it comes to rape, when it comes to a woman who is being vilified, who is being abused. I stand up for them. It's not about Musola or Tini. And for sure, I know they don't need fame or popularity because they already have. My question is, what does she have to gain by coming out and battling? What does she have to gain? She has everything to lose. She has everything to lose. Her children, her privacy, her person, everything to lose. Nothing to gain. But people will rather hide under the pretext of church and I'm a Christian, I'm a born again Christian, but then I face the truth.